his name is Tweak. Tweak, it's so good to see you. Ah, I can't handle the pressure. And you are. And he runs off. Oh no, maybe he needs more coffee or something. So, let's just head out of here. And the music has definitely changed. We are on the Velt. The Velt is a very special place. I'll probably go over it a little bit more later. Um, yeah, we'll just go over it later. I can't go that way. We're still on the Velt here. And here we're up against uh, uh, Dark Sides. And I forgot that I needed to heal. But we'll take care of the Dark Sides. And then I will take care of healing. I feel like kind of like the, the tribal music here, I guess you could go with. You get 276 gil. No experience. Kind of odd. Do need to heal still. Yeah, here in the Velt, when you get into fights, it is against rather tough enemies. Uh, pretty much everything that you have encountered to this point is here. And occasionally, Tweak will show up after you have killed everything, but there's really nothing that I can do with him just yet. He just says that he's hungry if I do encounter him. So, we're just going to head here to the town of Mobiliz. Finally! Hey, people. I just tell us that war has broken out. It kind of has, yeah. Stop by the house up in the far north. Oh, Tad Psycho! Threw his own kid out thinking it was a monster. Is that what happened to Tweak? It's flowing like there's no tomorrow, of course. What the hell are you doing? Only carrier pigeons. Yeah, that's all they got are carrier pigeons. Uh, this is uh, one of the most useless ends in the game. I will say that right now. I don't think there's anything in here. Uh, but don't use it. Don't use it. We'll, we'll go over why that is in a bit, but just let me tell you right now that you don't need to use that. So we're going to move on as if it was not there. And we're going to talk to this guy. This region is called the Velt. Monsters from all over the world migrate here. That's a very interesting way to put it. Uh, but only things that you've encountered, which is weird to me. And here we can get weapons. As you can see, we have seven people in our party now uh, that we can purchase for, including Bash still. Uh, this has always been something that's kind of bothered me in RPGs uh, when it comes to Final Fantasies, is that they flat out tell you, hey, these are the people in your party, whether or not you actually know that. You'll notice that Tweak is there at the end. We did get to name them after all, but still, it's a little bit of a spoiler. Uh, I should probably purchase two of these and two of these, but I will save my money for now and purchase off-screen uh, some later points and equip those. Uh, those are definitely needed for Elvis and Connie Jo. Buckler I don't need, I don't think. I still have three of them, of course. Uh, plumed hat, mage, mage's hat does sound good, bandanas are okay, but probably not as good as the plumed hat, uh, from what I remember. Iron helmet is going to be good, well, I'll, I'll go over what I do purchase later on. But those are the things that are in town here. God, look at that walk, I don't know. <laughs> For some reason it just looks funny to me. Okay, let's see what else we got here. We got, looks like a Doberman back here with a dude. Out hunting and was a kid. Yeah, there was a kid out there. His parents know where he is. They threw him out. How you doing, doggy? Doggy doesn't have anything really to say. Threw some dried meat into a herd of hungry animals, and some kid emerged and grabbed it. So dried meat, you say? Guess what they have here? Uh, so I will purchase one of these uh, definitely. I'll probably need to purchase a few, but we'll see. We'll see. Well, I'll come back for it. I'll, like I said, I'll go do all my purchasing off screen. Outside of that, everything's pretty much the same. If I have any money to spare, I'll purchase some tents uh, because tents are very, very useful in this kind of a game. How's the carrier pigeon doing? That does not sound like a pigeon at all. Serpent Trench? No! Tell me about Serpent Trench. We have to have mode 7 to talk about Serpent Trench. That looks like a cr 
crescent. Surely crescents are important for anything. Okay, so north of Doma Castle. Saw that there. Here. That serpent's trench. Hop into the current and you'll be swept to Nikkei. Too bad our underwater breathing device was stalling. So that's how we can get over there to Nikkei? 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 I, I don't know. There's so many ways to pronounce these words. <laughs> Let's head in here. See what's going on. How you doing, buddy? I send things all over the world, including this elixir. And I think that's actually the only item that I can grab here in town. I could be mistaken, though. Let's see if there's anything else. You have anything to say, dude? South of Crescent Mountain? Ah, I knew that crescent would come in handy somewhere. Anytime there's a crescent, it means something. You don't let that symbology just, just go away. Hey, kid? Kid. Keep your voices down? This is the kid just running around. Look at the imprint that you've made in the ground here. You've just worn away all the grass. Soldier in here. What soldier? Hey. you. And one of the letters coming from the town of Miranda are keeping him going. What? How, how you doing? I'm from Miranda. The Empire invaded and made me join their army. I fled when I heard we were making for Doma. They caught me and did this. And I can't even move. I'll never see Lola again. On the desk is a letter. Will you please read it? Sure, sure, dude. Yeah. You can't get used to Imperial troopers walking in the streets of Miranda. But otherwise things are okay. Flowers are blooming in the garden. Tell me spring is here. How are you doing? I'm so worried. I wish I could fly to your side. Rest and know that I am that I think about you constantly. Come back to me, Lola. Now this makes absolutely no sense to me, but uh, we are going to get all his letters. And in order to do that, there's a certain number of people that I need to talk to, including the guys that run the shops for whatever reason. If you talk to them, all of a sudden mail arise, arrives. I don't get it. Dwayne and Katrine are both 16 and in love. 16? That's pretty old for, for Final Fantasy standards. You guys should already be married with kids, I think. Dwayne and Katarina. They're so deeply in love, they cannot express it in words. Here we can find sprint shoes and a white cape. I'll probably purchase one if I have the money. Once again, money's going to be a little tight here, I think. But if we head back here, we can find a bed that we can sleep in for free no problem which is why the inn here is practically useless because you can sleep for free in the back now because i did talk to the guy at the relic store i think the relic shop i guess whatever there should be another letter no hmm i thought if i just talked to him maybe it's not the relic guy like, I swear there was some glitch to it like that, where it was just that easy. But I think that is actually the majority of what we need to do here outside of those letters. So, I will do what I need to do in order to get that letter to spawn, and I will meet you back inside there. Oh, right, I forgot a very key step in this process, and that's actually sending a reply back to his girlfriend over in Miranda. Uh, as he says here, if we go try to talk to him again, I'd like to write her back, but I can't even pick up a pen. So he cannot respond to her. So it's up to us to do it for him. So what we need to do is head into the carrier pigeon's home, I guess you could say, and I'm going to send it for that soldier, yes. Now, I do need to talk to anybody in the shop or talk to the scholar and let him show me the, the serpent trench. Those are the triggers for whatever reason. I'll meet you back in his place. So let's pick up the next letter because she has responded to him. I can't find your favorite record. I thought I'd play it and you'd be with me, but... That's it? 
give Lola everything. If only I could move. Time to send another one. Letter number three. What does she have to say this time? Mother's taken ill. We can't afford medicine. If only we had some tonic. Yes, if only you could move. Uh, for whatever reason, when we send this letter, it doesn't actually remove tonics from our inventory, which I don't understand because we're actually sending tonics over this time. This is costing me a lot of money. 500 gil every letter. What do we get for number four? I haven't heard from you. I'm so worried. Seriously? We just sent you tonics, bitch. Time for letter number five. What do we got this time? You said you were reading a book. If only I could read it too. So now let's send her a book. And for sending her the book, we get nothing. She does not respond. Dude, I don't think she likes you. I heard, in my name you send Lola many things. I wish to thank you. Please accept this as a token of my appreciation. And we do get a reward out of this for 2,500 gil, a book, and tonics that technically we didn't have. We get the Tin Tin Bar. Uh, that is a decent relic, uh, but I don't really like using it. It recovers HP with each step, which sounds awesome, but I think it's only one HP per step. We already have over 300 HP, so it doesn't necessarily seem worth it to me. Uh, but I think this is one of the rarest ones, so there you go. That's how you get it. But with the Ten Tinnabar acquired, that looks like that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my river diving squad of Elvis and Kanijo. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.